off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough, but thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. <sighs> you expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. Where to next? We cross the Moonflow. Gotcha. Moonflow, baby, here we come. Good day, everyone. We can all learn a lesson from what has happened to the Crusaders. Only the truly faithful have a hope of defeating sin. Look! One of Kimari's friends looks just like him. What? Both follow summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless! Hornless! <laughs> you come to insult Kimari? Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear. Never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari lost his horn. Next lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari, howl alone, howl alone. <laughs> Do those two uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari would deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But, uh... It's Kimari's problem. You can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we Guardians do our job, no problem, right? Oh. Confident. Yeah. We meet again. I heard you took part in Operation Meehan. You've seen that Machina aren't the answer. In the end, only summoners can hope to defeat Sin. You are right. I must train harder. I can help with that, if you like. I propose a contest of aeons. A friendly contest, of course. I'm ready. That's the spirit. But before we begin... I have healed your aeons. Well, shall we? Whichever Aeon you want. Stop. That is enough. You're good. You bested me fairly. Here, your prize. Go on, take it. Look forward to meeting you again. Till next time, you know.
Wow! This is the moon flow. These are moon lilies. They say that clouds of pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? Hey, I got an idea! We're not waiting till nightfall. Ah. Uh. No. Then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back. We better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. Shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? Hmm. A shoe puff. Whoa! Uh, let's ride. Come on, let's go. All right, we board soon as we ready, huh? Shoe puffs. I haven't ridden one in so long. What? You've been on one of these? Well, just once. Ten years ago, with Kamari. Remember? Shoepuff shook, Yuna fall in water. Shoepuff scoop up Yuna with long nose. Yuna jump in three more times for fun. Kimari worried. Whoops. Yuna had fun. Kimari happy. Biran is troublemaker. But run, so do not lie. Summoners disappearing, that was not lie. Right, I'll be careful. I lived in the city of Bevel until ten years ago. I moved to Besaid after my father defeated Sin. Kimari was with me the whole way. Bevel? It's the biggest city in Spira. The main temple of Yevon is there. <laughs> Smells like oil. Awaka, at your service. Ten years ago. Ah, a history lesson? Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. What? why He was drunk. Thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jet never drank again. But it would seem that Shoe Puff still works here. Even after ten years, Spira hasn't changed. Truly, the place seems to resist change. It would take something unusual. Don't let the peaceful scenery fool you. Be on guard at all times. No, I don't think so. It's a bad idea, yes? Please, we beg of you. Impossible! Impossible! What's wrong? This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. Ah! It is kind of big. 
It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what? We just leave him behind? Hey, I didn't say that. Just... <sighs> it is no good. We will have to find another way. We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain Sir. But that'll take days. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, boy. That's our captain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where there's a will, there's a way. Those words stayed with me. I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. Would you like to hear a bit about the wondrous shoe puff? Very well. There are many things we do not know about the shoe puff. For example, what does it eat? It eats nothing. The water it sucks through its schnoz somehow supports its considerable size. Some theorize it eats teeny weeny waterborne organisms. That, as they say, is that. Let the driver know when you're ready. Riding a shoe puff isn't that much fun. How little you know. Some things little boys never grow out of. Right? Perhaps you'd like to hear a bit about the Hypello, hmm? Shoepuff handlers belong to a race of water dwellers known as the Hypello. They may be slow on land, but in the water they're quick as silvery fish. You'd think they'd make admirable players of Blitzball. But their lackadaisical disposition draws them to less strenuous pastimes. Hmm. And that, as they say, is that. Rides the Shoepuff? All aboard! Shoop of launching! City. A Machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Right, it's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. Nope, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. Hmm? I'm not so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon. It decides which Machina we may use, and which we may not. So what kind of Machina may we not use, then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. War? More than a thousand years ago, mankind waged war using Machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful Machina. They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. But the war did not stop. Wh what happened then? 
Sin came, and it destroyed the cities and their machina. The war ended, and our reward was Sin. So, Sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Man, that's rough. Yeah, it is. But it's not like the Machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. Ugh. Watch for that me. Sit down. Sorry. Ah! The Albed. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Those out bed. Ish, everybody okay? I'm sorry, we're all okay now. Yuna. Uh. Shoot a full speed ahead. Damn the out bed. What do they want from us? Do they have something to do with Luca? What do they have the uniform? Wait! They're mad they lost the tournament. Oh wait! They're mad about Operation Meehan! I wonder. Didn't Kamari's clansmen say something? About summoners disappearing? Ah, so the Albed are behind that. Those sand plastic grease monkeys. Hey, Waka. It's no use complaining about the Albed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. Fail as guardian on Shubov. Kimari never fail again. Kimari fail as go. Might be more out bed. Keep watch, ya? Yeah? Looks like we're stuck here for a while. Guard Yuna. Not dead? Uh, uh? 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 Ah. I was done for back then. Ah. Riku! You're Riku! Uh, hey! Uh, you're okay! How you been? Terrible. Yeah, you don't look so good. What happened? You beat me up, remember? Huh? Oh, that Machina? That was you? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, that really hurt, you know. You big meanie. <sighs> w wait, but you attacked us. Nuh-uh, it's not exactly what you think. Yo! Friend of yours. Uh, uh, you could say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. Yuna, Lulu, I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's in our bed. <laughs> wow, so you like all your life. What luck meeting here, huh? Praise be to Yevon. So, uh, Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. Huh? What? There's something we need to discuss. Oh, go ahead. Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. Right. Sorry, Waka. Huh? What? Ah. Sir Oren, I would like Riku to be my guardian. Show me your face. Huh? Look at me. Oh, okay. Open your eyes. As I thought. Um, no good? Are you certain? Hundred percent. So, anyway, can I? If Yuna wishes it. Yes, I do. <laughs> Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. Right now. Then I'll just have to be the merriest. It was strange. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Please, come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, your friends are also welcome. Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, I almost forgot. Sir Guardian, it seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guado Salam. He's young, but he deserves our respect. The Maester is also the High Priest of Makalania Temple. So, he administers both the Temple and Guado affairs. Care to hear about the Far Plane or the Pyreflies? The Far Plains the place where pyreflies born from ascending gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the Far Plain. Quite the phenomenon, how I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. They say the pyreflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. 
but only the dead appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. It's a great mystery, but maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the hearts of the living. And that little bit borrows the Pyrefly's power for their paranormal performance. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. Care to hear about the far plane or the Pyreflies? Ahem. They may be called Pyreflies, but they aren't really flies, you see. They're those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the Pyreflies doing. In fact, Pyreflies have something to do with Aeons, too. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, though. No. Don't you know? The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Oh. Hmm. The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Stay close to Yuna. I wonder what smells so nice. Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. Uh, I don't like the smell of this one, eh? Why does he want to see me? This way, please. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin too? Well, there are many things I do not know. You're Xanarkind is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Why don't you eat something? Kimari speak no more. Mmm, this is good. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy's just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. What is taking them so long? I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. What could it be? Oh...
Truly, it is good to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a Guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough, Trouble. Must I always endure such praise? Welcome! You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Xanarkin? Correct. Xanarkin, as it looked 1,000 years ago. Great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkin. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone. To defeat the undefeatable Sin, it took an unbreakable bond of love of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity.
is beet red. You okay? He... He asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna... No, all summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating Sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. Ah. Yuna, the High Summoner's daughter. Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? What? No way. We gotta defeat Sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this, but I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat Sin. Like Braska before you. <laughs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the Far Plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? Question! About this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But... That's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm... Uh... You thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> You'll see once we get there. Aren't you coming? I do not belong there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. 
Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. You're still here. See you later. What the? The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they looked so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Why don't you try calling someone? All you have to do is think about them. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on the far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about? I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? Wow. He is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> what? what I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Hmm, how about mm, Waka? What, me? With Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough, not even close. Oh, sorry, my mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. Yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. Why don't you try calling someone? All you have to do is think about them. Just a sec more. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bavel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? Uh, uh... I must do what everyone wants. Not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jet. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. 
He's Sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is Sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Uh, uh, Mom? It's her. She's very pretty. <sighs> but... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. Uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm. It's okay. Ah. Uh, I think I just... figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See? So I told him what I thought of him right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, just a sec, dear. dear. Ah, go to him. He'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. <gasps> Lord Jiska! Oh, Lord Jiska! Uh, he does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. Lord Jiska! He is Lord Jiska no more. Send him now. <sighs> Talk later. We leave now. Uh, what was that just now? That really Lord Disco? understand how a man like Lord Jiskel can die and not be sent. I would think that he was sent once, but he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. I will go meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna! Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Um... 
What? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I... What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. See? But if Yuna said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. Lulu? I've talked enough about that. What? I'm sorry, just forget about it. Jeez, grumpy. You'll understand one of these days. I just don't want to give it words, not yet. I shouldn't have to say this, but don't fall in love with her. Interesting. I suppose I could add you to my list. I wish you good luck, little boy. You're going to need it. I'm a little worried about Lord Jiskal. I wonder if Maester Seymour has heard. We leave as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. For a while there? I was a little worried about what was gonna happen, yeah? My! Was the Lady Summoner not with you? No. She's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour. Or Lord Seymour. Oh, I'll be careful. Sorry. That's all right. Oh! Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Whoa! I gotta tell the others! I too will go to the temple in Makalania shortly. Lord Jiskel, please tell me. What can I do to help? Yuna, let's go! They say Seymour went to Makarena Temple. Makalania Temple. I? What I don't get is, why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, that's probably it. <laughs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. supposed to cross that see the lightning rod towers the lightning is drawn to them hopefully we head north not too near and not too far from the towers yeah meaning we should avoid wide open areas <gasps> I think I forgot something in Guado Salam nice knowing you okay okay I'll go
Well, hello there. Would you like to hear about this place? Pity. Well, hello there. Would you like to hear about this place? Very well. Let me tell you about the crossing. A long time ago, this place was a traveler's nightmare. Plains of lightning, plains of thunder. Those who cross are torn asunder. Or so they used to say. Then a man by the name of Bilgen appeared. Using Machina, he built tires that served as lightning rods across the plains. Finally, travelers were able to cross in safety. Bilgen was building that tower over there. When he was struck and killed by lightning. Bilgen was an owl bed. Our history books never mention him. Take care and farewell. Good day. Hi there. Is it true? I heard that Maester Seymour and Lady Yuna are to be wed. It's such great news. I have to tell everyone. Where'd you hear that? From the Guado. They were all very excited. Huh. I'm afraid you heard a little wrong. Yuna's gonna turn him down. Oh, really? Hey, it will not do to joke about a thing like that. Mr. Seymour and Lady Yuna, how wonderful. Whoa, that was a close one. <laughs> Stop kidding around. Yes, ma'am. Hmm, <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> You're giving me the creeps. Ah! Hey, whoa! I want to go home. I hate lightning. I hate thunder. Let's go rest over there, please. This storm never stops. Better to cross quickly. I know, but just for a little while. <laughs> well, what now? Uh. Pretty please? Just a few minutes. I'm scared of lightning. Let's rest, please. Pretty please? I'm too young to die. You're mean, cruel. Your moms would be ashamed of you. Are you having fun doing this to me? Fine, we rest. She's worse than the storm. I'm a little tired. Do you have a room available? Ah, Lady Summoner. Yes, just over that way. Thank you. Uh, Yuna? It's not like her. Are you that scared? <laughs> when I was little, a fiend attacked me while I was swimming at the beach. My brother tried to beat it back with a spell. <gasps> but he missed and hit me instead! It was a thunder spell! Ouch. I've been scared of lightning ever since. But it can be effective. Magic is effective against marine fiends. My brother said that too. You should learn some spells, too. Ah! Hmm. Maybe later. 
Nice to see you again. Welcome to the Rin Travel Agency. Oh. Shh. Hmm. I've been scared of lightning ever since. Yuna looked preoccupied. Was it because of Jiskel? Don't tell Riku, but we leave as soon as Yuna's better. How goes your study of our language? That is good to hear. Allow me to present you with this book for your study. I wonder, would that be Sir Orin by any chance? Ah, as I thought. I've been wondering since I saw him at the Meehan High Road branch. Sir Orin! I wonder if you remember me. Ten years ago, at the beginning of Lord Braska's calm. Yes, I should thank you. Not at all. I could not leave a wounded man to die. However, I was surprised when I saw you gone the next morning with that wound. An ordinary man would not have been able to walk. I'd rather drop that subject, Rin. As you wish. Maester Seymour and his entourage passed by a while ago. And the Maester is to be married soon? Excuse me, where did you hear that? The Guado are telling everyone. Oh, they are, are they? I wonder what's wrong with Yuna. Yuna resting. Go away. It's not easy being a guardian to a summoner so young. This is going to be some journey. Nothing really. I I just uh, um. Uh, 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 I I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh, 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 hey, wasn't that that uh, just called Guado guy? Fear is his will. It says, take care of my son. Huh. His son, Seymour? Well, I know one way to take care of him. I'm sorry. What do you think you're up to? You know, you know, was acting funny. Yes, yes. 
She'll tell us when yeah. she's ready, yeah. so hold oh. your chocobo oh. still then. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Whatever happens, we're still Yuna's guardians. I know how you feel. We're not through the Thunder Plains yet, so be prepared, all right? She's not going to move unless we do something. If it's okay with Riku, shall we go? It's not stopping, is it? Don't tell me you were hoping it would. Ah! Fine, stay here. All right already. But you didn't have to say it like that, you know. You could be more comforting or something. You know, try to cheer me up. You just don't get me at all, do you? Hey, are you listening? <gasps> I'm not scared. Are you here? Everyone, wait. What's up? I have something to tell you. Here? We're almost out of here! Let's go! I have to say it now. Over there. Somehow, my bad feelings always come true. I've decided to marry. I thought so. <gasps> but, but why? Why'd you change your mind? For Spira's future and Yevon's unity. I thought it would be the best thing to do. That's not good enough. Wait, is it? Is it because of Lord Jiskel? Hey, that's fear! Show me. I can't. I must speak to Maester Seymour first. I truly am sorry, but this is... It is a personal matter. You're kidding, huh? As you wish. I'm sorry. Just one thing. I won't quit my pilgrimage. Then it is fine. Wait a minute, Oren. You don't care? I mean, you're not gonna stop her? No, I'm not. As long as she is willing to face sin, all else is her concern. That is a summoner's privilege, as long as she journeys. But that's... Uh. Yuna, just one question. Can't you just talk to Maester Seymour? You got to marry him? Don't know. But I think it is the right thing to do. Okay, I guess. Uni! I wish we could help somehow, some way. 
It's okay. I'll be fine. She says I'm sorry. He says it's fine. She's willing to face sin. She's privileged. I didn't understand. But somehow, I felt like I didn't belong. But if I didn't belong with them, I'd be stuck in Spira, alone. And being alone in that place, well, I didn't want to think about it. Next, we're going to Makalania Temple. Yuna can talk with Seymour there. We Guardians will wait until they're done and plan our next move. Understood? about Yuna. Of course I'm worried about her. What is she thinking? The simplest answer would be, in exchange for agreeing to marry him, she hopes to negotiate with Seymour. Negotiate what? I wonder. What? All by herself? <laughs> She's strong. But Seymour is the better negotiator. Well then, why don't we do something about it? Yuna wants it this way. Huh. I just don't get it. Doesn't she trust us? On the contrary. She doesn't want us caught up in whatever it is she's planning. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. But that makes me worry even more. She could just tell us. That's the way she is. She's naive, serious to a fault, and doesn't ask for help. Hmm. <laughs> You're probably right. Yuna's easy to read. <laughs> yeah, she is. But hard to guard. Stand by her. Always. Sorry. It's funny how calm I was. Maybe it was because I'd realized that Yuna wasn't marrying Seymour for love. Not really. It was just her duty. Something she had to do before returning to her pilgrimage. That's what I kept telling myself anyway. And, well, maybe. I realized that Yuna and I'd never, you know. Yuna, let's go. Seen Donna. Donna? Can't say I have. What's up? We got separated on the way here. Damn it all! I've got to find her. Calm down. But if anything happens to her, running around in a panic is not going to help. Right now, you have to keep cool and search. But Guard your emotions, then guard your summoner. <sighs> You're right. Shall we search? No, I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you, Sir Aran.
what's up? Oh, I just wanted to wish him good luck. 